guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jayla Crayon if you're new, and this is my little puppy Harlem. Say hey! Hey, hey, hey! I am back with another video. Make sure that you are subscribed to my channel if you are new, and if you are old and you're not subscribed, girl, you need to get my notifications because you just keep coming back here trying to see when I post a video. So just go ahead and subscribe. So in today's video, I got some new shoes, and I'm going to be showing guys the new shoes that I got. But first, this video is sponsored by HelloFresh, and I'm so sad I made some burgers and they just look so good. Don't we wish we had a burger right now? Don't we wish we had a burger? <laughs> so if you're a newbie to cooking and you want something to follow instructions or you want to make some different meals that are kind of out of your comfort zone, HelloFresh is the one for you. Or if you just want to, you know, make some dishes with your friends and try some stuff out, cook in the kitchen, have something delivered to your doorstep. Um, super easy, comes with the recipe, and it's fun. So I did get a HelloFresh box delivered to my doorstep with three meals in it, um, and I'm going to be making one because they're super easy to make. All right, guys, here we go. Spend less time meal planning and grocery shopping because guess what? It comes right here. Everything you need in this bag, and we are going to be making a crispy cheddar cheeseburger. So let's see. It comes with broccoli, so broccoli, the buns, an onion, a tomato, ketchup, what's this? Vinegar and some cheddar cheese. Let's get it, let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. We're going to be baking this broccoli. Extra virgin olive oil drizzle. Drizz, that's more than a drizzle, Jayla. Also, with cooking, like the first time you make something, it may come out completely bad. It may be too salty. You're gonna eat it because it's yours, but just keep practicing. And then, when you practice, when you get it good, you can like, you just gonna be chefing it up. Different things, you already know what type of seasoning you like, your taste buds like, all that. I feel like that's why I can't really tell you guys how much seasoning I put. Let us do it. As we're prepping this up, I just wanna let you guys know that you can get HelloFresh for $6.99 per serving now. That's the most meal for your moolah. Now, if you're interested in HelloFresh, you can get six free meals, two free meals in your first three boxes if you go to HelloFresh.com and use my code Jayla60. So the tomatoes are cut up, buns, I'm not gonna need the buns till later. Okay, okay, okay. Do my own thing, do my own, own thing. We're making two pounds of cheese. This is gonna go on the burger. I'm gonna put it in the oven so it like melts into like a little patty. I think the key to cooking is season how you want it to taste. Even if uh, you look up a recipe and they say do it this way, if that's not the way your taste buds is set up, don't do it that way. Do it the way you know how to do it. We have our burgers going in here. We have the cheese that is gonna go on top of the burger and we have our broccoli. I'm gonna take this off. Boom. Literally like three to six minutes on the side. And voila, a HelloFresh meal is done. All of this was sent straight to our doorstep. Now the next meal, you're gonna have to go to the grocery store. All right guys, now that I made you hungry, it's time to show the shoes. Harlem, you gonna get down so I can show shoes? Hmm? You're such a good baby. You're such a good baby. Hmm? 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 Let's start with the first pair that I got. Um, these are some nude shoes. Let's see. So I needed a pair of nude pointy strappy heels that can go with a dress. So these are what they look like. I think they look really sexy on. That's the other one. You know sometimes depending on what dress you have on, you need a nude heel or you need a black heel. So I got a new pair of nude simple heels that can go with everything. And then in this box I got some new bomb booties and they look like this they are snakeskin print um, but it's this caramel brown 
color and I don't know I just really like it in my wardrobe I have a lot of this color so I decided to get a shoe um, that I could spice up some of the things that I've been wearing and add something different to the look like my coats and stuff so I think this is super duper cute and as you guys know um, it's definitely still winter time we how many months we got left of winter we got like two three months left so yeah the next pair of shoes that I got are nude, but they're kind of blinged out. So I got these mules. I think that's what these shoes are called when it's, the back is doesn't have a strap. And it looks like this. So the bling is at the first strap, a clear strap right here, and it is pointy. This point is cute. So yeah, I wanted to up the nude pair of shoes that I have because I have a strappy clear nude pair of shoes and it goes with everything, but I only have that pair. So I got some more pair. Now Public Desire does have a clothing. So I got sent two pieces. This is like a red dress. You guys know Valentine's Day is coming up. So we'll see if I wear this. But it's a red dress like this. And it's just cute. The material feels good. It has shoulder pads on it. And yeah, like that. The next thing that I got is a fur. Um, I have a lot of furs, but I don't have one in this color. So this is like a icy gray. A gray, yeah, a gray. But it, it's like kind of icy gray. So a light gray, light gray. Mm-hmm. Jayla, get your choice of words together. Okay, fur. Definitely have some things that I can pair with this. Super cute. All right, so I just got that stuff today. I want to open it. It is about 3.49, so I still have time to run a few of my errands. I need to pick some stuff up from the post office. I need to, I was gonna take my, um, my car to the dealership to see how much i will get if i sold my car because with me like planning on moving back to the city um i just it was like it's just hmm how can i put this living close to the city it's just easier to not have a car so um i had my car in the city for a little bit but it was just like too much and i Parked it back at my mom's house in North Carolina. And then when I moved where I live now, I brought my car back. But I don't know. I'm going to see what they're talking about at the dealership to see if it will benefit me or not. Living in New York, you still have to pay for a parking garage. So I'll still be paying like two, $300 a month to park my car in a parking garage. Just what it is. So I'm about, I think that's what I'm about to do. I'm about to go to the dealership real quick to do that. Um, and then I've just been handling a lot of other like business stuff because... I have a meeting with like, um, I have a meeting with my bookkeeper and um, my tax accountant later on tomorrow. So I have to like, I've been scanning over documents and scanning and emailing and blah, blah, blah. The boring stuff of the entrepreneur and that's what I've been doing. So yeah, I guess I'll put on some clothes. That fur just got, <laughs> it just got fur all over my um, black jeans. But I guess we can, ooh, maybe I can wear these boots. These look Super cute. See if I can put the outfit together with these. Ooh. I just thought about it. I need to take out something for dinner. Um, I want my fave, which is steak and white rice. So I'm gonna take that out. I'm trying to think, do I want a T-bone or do I want a New York strip? This New York strip has three in it so I can make like an extra meal. Again, the T-bone just sounds so, mm. Okay, so I have a choice between ribeye, New York strip, thin, that's another ribeye, and then the T-bone. Here we are. This is the T-bone, and it's a thinner T-bone, but it has the bone in it. I think the bone, the flavor of the bone, I just really enjoy. This is the New York strip. I know this is kind of hard to see because it's frozen. So maybe I'll put a little picture on the screen of what the different kind of steaks look like. Um, the New York strip, it's not fatty. So if you're looking for a steak that's not like doesn't have a lot of fat on it, you probably would like this. And then the ribeye to me is fatty. It has a lot of fat on it. It's juicy. It's meaty. Um, it's a little bit more tender than the T-bone to me. 
um in the comment section if you're a steak person and you like steak and you know the difference between steaks what is your favorite steak if i had to rank i would say my favorite is a t-bone um at a restaurant i probably would get a ribeye and then lastly i would be the new york strip yeah this is what harlem does when he begs to get out <laughs> Why my baby did so sad? Huh? Why my baby did so sad? Although I did clean up. I guess we can. With choice. So I'm okay with choice. Wee! Wee! Oh my god! Oh my god, it's so many toys! Let him play with his toys. I need to be getting dressed. Yet, this is all Harlan wanted to do. Come and see if I still had the package paper so he can mess with it. That's why you got put up. All right, guys, this is something typical of me to like put on, and I just paired it with my new boots. Looks pretty cute together. It just amazes me how dark it is already. It's only 4.59. Okay, we're going. We're off. Let's go. I was gonna get a little bit of McDonald's, like a fry or something, cause I'm hungry, but I'm gonna just wait. Deep. Hey, Mr. Danny. Hey, what's up? What are you doing? Uh, watching news, you know, got stuck on CNN, you know how that goes. Because I just left the Honda uh, resale dealership. Uh -huh. And they basically said that they um, he would want to look at look at my car in the daytime and lift it up to see what the frame is. But you know, I never got into any car accidents. So I'm not worried. But he said that he would he could give me fifteen thousand or fifteen thousand five hundred dollars, depending on you know when they actually look at it. But that was his quote. Right. Okay. Uh, I mean, like I said, I haven't looked at the blue book, but. Uh, that sounds probably about right. I mean, as long as it's, it's it, it, as long as that's about right, I just didn't want to, you know, right. it to be something so, crazy. Yeah. So what I'll do, uh, I'll, I'll go online and uh, hold on, I can do it right now. Let's see. Let me go upstairs. Okay. On the way home, I ended up stopping by the grocery store. I got some broccoli to go with my steak, um, some fruits, salad, um, soup, because I like eating soup in the morning, and then I'm going to make tacos for lunch tomorrow, so I need a little pack. So, Oh, potatoes, an onion. So yeah, I just stopped by the store really quickly. <gasps> Mommy's home! Mommy's home! And this right here is dinner, guys. Time to go watch some Netflix. Oof. Guys, I am about to call it a night, eat some dinner, watch some Netflix. Um, Lou had been telling me to watch um, a show called You on Netflix. He has actually tried to make me watch it multiple times and I have not listened. I need nights like this when it's raining outside and all of that for me to actually sit down and focus on a show and dedicate to it. So I'm about to turn that on, about to eat my good old food, eat my good old dinner. I did forget me some of the drinks, so I'm about to go in the kitchen and get me some of the drink. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog, and I will see you guys in the next one tomorrow. Bye, guys.